Hi there, it's Chloe from mytoolkit.co.uk. Today we're going to be talking about things to consider before purchasing a coil nailer. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please stay until the end of the video. If you are new here, first of all, welcome to our channel. Here at My Toolkit we like to talk about everything stapling and nailing from tool reviews, hints and tips for the industry, and with over 30 years experience we like to think we know what we're talking about so if that sounds like something you're interested in please subscribe down below also take a look at our instagram account at my toolkit online the things you're not going to see here on youtube so let's begin the first thing to consider before buying a coil nailer is the size of nails you're looking for not every tool will take the same size nails so make sure that the tool you're looking at will take the size nails that you're wanting to use for the job or the jobs at hand. The second thing to look at before buying a coil nailer is whether the nails are available in stainless steel. Not all nails are manufactured in stainless steel and as you probably know it's getting higher in demand for use on stainless steel on jobs and especially if you're using it for outdoor furniture, marine jobs or anywhere you can be in a damp environment, stainless steel is necessary. So make sure that the nails are available in stainless steel if that's something that you're requiring. The third thing to consider before buying a coil nailer is the features that are available on the tool. You're not always going to need all the features on a tool and some features can be a little bit gimmicky but some features can be extremely useful. Um, so for example on this tool there is a adapt adjuster so you can adjust how far the nail will fire into the surface there by adjusting the safety arm in and out so you can get the nails nice and flush flat every time. Another feature that's really useful um, and something to consider on coil nailers is the trigger type. So you can get single shot triggers, dual shot triggers or some tools actually have both and some tools you can interchange the triggers so that you can have either a single shot or a dual shot. So some people will like the single shot for the safety aspect of it. So that is when you have to depress the tool and fire it and release every time. Or you do have the uh, multi-shot uh, option as well where you can just hold that trigger down and bump fire onto the surface. The last thing to consider when buying a coil nailer is if you've already purchased the nails. If you've already bulk purchased nails suitable for the job, then you've got to make sure that the coil nailer that you're buying will fit those nails. But as a little side note on there as well, if you have just inherited a lot of nails or you've got them cheap at auction, please make sure that for one, they are readily available in the future. You don't want to end up with a rock of nails, a tool, and then you can't get the, the nails again in the future. Um, and also do make sure that they are suitable uh, for the job at hand. Just because you've got them cheap doesn't always mean that they're the best option. Um, so that's all we've got for you today. Four things to consider before buying a coil nailer. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like below. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.